I am going to tell you a story about an injection that happened few years back with my wife. I was a small shop owner in small town. I was not a good student in schools and most of the time used to rank last in the school. When grew up, I could not do anything but join my father's shop in the market. Most of my friends who used to do good in schools became high officers, few engineers and couple even doctors. Some used to live in the town still then, some used to visit during festivals. I was kind of a failure in life except my parents managed to find a very beautiful girl for me to get married. All of friends suddenly became jealous of mine. I heard them saying that, how can that idiot get such a beautiful wife? Those who did not even talk to me used to come to my shop or used to come to our home for no reason, just to talk to me. One of those was a doctor who had his own practice in a medical pharmacy in the town. He also used to visit patients home whenever called. Since it was a small town, there was only another doctor who was old. Our family used to go to that old doctor when needed. My friend was not happy with that. He used to say that you are not a friend. You see the old man when your friend is a better doctor than him. Once when we all got drunk during a festival, my doctor friend told my other friends that he would like to give injections to my beautiful wife one day and also told all that I hide my wife from them because I am insecure of mine. I knew they are jealous of mine and that is why I did not want them to visit my wife. I also could not forget that, how they used to treat me in schools and also how low their opinions are about me. To be honest, my doctor friend was very handsome and any girl or woman would fall for him. I heard that females like to see him just because of his cuteness and he takes advantage of that. The females also like to take injections from a very handsome doctor rather than an old doctor. So kind of out of insecurity, I tried avoiding him while it came my wife's treatment as I knew what his true intention was. Once my wife told me that she was not feeling well and asked me to call a doctor. But the old doctor was out of town at that time. Unfortunately, I had to go my doctor friend's pharmacy to call him at our home. Even then he mocked me saying finally I had to go to him and could not hide my wife forever from him. Those words irritated me a lot, but I had no choice at that moment. I knew that I am doing mistakes calling him at my home. When we reached our home, my wife opened the door. No one else was at home that time. My wife was wearing a sari and she welcomed us inside. I introduced my friend to my wife and then asked him to sit on the sofa. My friend told my wife that she is very beautiful and a hidden gem. My wife got shy and went inside. I was shocked by my friend doing this open flirting with my wife. He put his medical bag in the table and asked me to go inside and bring warm water. I know why he asked for that. It was still old times and doctors used glass syringes as plastic ones were still not available. So, I went in and asked my wife to boil some water. It was winter time and thus she said there is hot water already in the kitchen. I brought some water from the kitchen and asked my wife to get ready and come soon to the living room. When I came back to the living room, I saw that my friend had opened his bag, stethoscope on the neck, put down his BP calf and blue box on the table. I put the water bowl on the table too. He asked me where is your wife, ask her to come in. I said, she is getting ready. In a few moments, my wife came. She tried to look more beautiful, I assume seeing a very handsome doctor. She wore a green sari with a black blouse. Honestly, she was looking stunning. My friend was also shocked by seeing her. He then asked my wife, Nalima, to sit on the right side of him on the sofa. My friend started to ask questions about her health. While doing that he was checking her pulse and put the BP meter on her left arm too. After checking BP, he asked Nalima to remove Sari from the breast and started checking her lungs with the stethoscope. He then asked her to lie down on the sofa. 
she didn't he checked her stomach with stethoscope and some part with bare hands. After doing all that he asked Nalima to go inside and wear a sleeveless blouse. I understood why is that. I think Nalima did too, but she did not protest and quietly went inside. My friend told me that he will give some medicine now, but he wants to check her in detail in the pharmacy. He asked me to take her there the next day. He started preparing an injection. A fairly thick needle was attached to the glass syringe when he started pulling some colorless medicine after breaking a vial. Meantime, Nalima entered. To my surprise, she came without any blouse. She said to me that she could not find any sleeveless blouse at that moment. She covered her breast with the sari, but her both arms were full open and visible. My friend took a look at her, and I am sure he was overwhelmed to see my wife. He stopped for a bit, but then again started preparing the injection. Nalima went and sit to the right to my friend as she indicated to get injection on the left arm. Now, to tell a bit about Nalima, she was 27 or 28 at that time. Very fair, much more compared to other Indian women. She was not thin not fat, but in best possible shape. He left arm has big scar from smallpox vaccine right in the middle of the deltoid and a small scar from the BCG vaccine close to her shoulder. Her body is stunning in a single word. My friend was ready injection and without any word, he tear up some cotton from a big roll, put that inside dental, held my wife's left arm, and started cleaning the whole deltoid area. He left the arm to dry and took the syringe. It was a 10 milliliters syringe, but he only filled up to 3 milliliters. He removed the air bubble by forcing the plunger. I looked at Nalima, she looked really afraid as the needle was thicker than usual. I knew that my friend will take every opportunity to touch Nalima and he did. He at first asked Nalima to look on the other side. Nalima was sitting on sofa but he stood up. He held the arm of Nalima near the shoulder from the bottom with his left hand. He placed his left hand under the armpit of Nalima and his palm was grabbing Nalima's soft triceps upper region up to the armpit. His thumb and other fingers were pressing the deltoid muscle from the bottom. Nalima could feel the sensation from my friend's hand in her nerves under and near the armpit. Then my friend placed his feet on the edge of the sofa and asked Nalima to put her elbow on his knee. He then suddenly jabs the needle exactly inside the smallpox vaccine scar of Nalima. The soft skin of Nalima gave very little resistance as the force of the needle was too high and it just went straight in on the dead skin of Scar, but a deep valley was created around the needle as it went in. Nalima almost jumped by the sudden jab and put her other hand in her mouth to stop the loud scream. My friend used his full force to inject the medicine, and Nalima started squeezing her whole body with closed eyes. The medicine went in for about 20 seconds, and all medicine went in. My friend released his left hand from the, the armpit of Nalima and took the cotton ball again, pressed the cotton with his fingers of the left hand near the injection area and removed the needle with a fast pull. He put the syringe on the table and then placed his left hand under the armpit of Nalima again just like before and used his right hand's palm to vigorously massage her. Nalima was feeling pain from the massage itself, as her eyes were still closed and body stiff, and she also felt the sensation from the hand placed under her armpit. It must have been a sensation of pain and desire. After two minutes, my friend held Nalima's right hand and placed it on top of the cotton covering her injection spot. Nalima then started massaging a little, and my friend sat beside her on the sofa. If you like this story, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, comment below in which direction you want this story to go. The rest of the story will be coming soon.